A blessed morning, Grateful Gas family. Welcome back to the Grateful Gas Sports Huddle. Y'all know what time it is. Everything sports. Might give you sports rundown, sports news. Uh, we're going to be looking at the NBA Finals kicks off tonight. We're going to be looking at NBA head coach of Hirons. We're going to be looking at the NBA Draft Countdown, which is June 22nd. We're going to be checking out MLB scores from last night. We're going to be looking ahead to Saturday's Stanley Cup kickoff. And we're going to round it out with the WNBA action. So make sure y'all stay tuned in. Make sure y'all um, check back in Saturday for updates, all that good stuff. But before I can get into that, about to get directly to the daily verse. Daily verse for the date of June 1st. Thank you, God. We made it to June. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for the days that you allowed us to have leading up to this day, Father God. May you, my friend, ask that all the souls that have not been, all the souls that have been, um, you know, depleted from earth and their spirits and all that type of stuff, Father God, just praying ask that you allow them to be able to find peace in their in their afterlife, Lord. I thank you for today for the reality life, Father God. Thank you for everything you're doing, everything you've done. I pray and ask that today. It's the best day because of today, Father God. Thank you for everything you're doing, everything you've done. In Jesus' name, pray, amen. Daily verse for the day of June 1st, 2023, derives from the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 18, and it states as follows. The wicked worketh a deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be sure a reward. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 18. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I do have my dad joke. Da, da, da. What did the dishwasher say to the oven after, after a productive day? What did the dishwasher say to the oven after a productive day? You've been on fire. <laughs> Deep slapper. <laughs> That's my dad joke for today. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So NBA Finals is here. You can check out the NBA Finals tonight. ABC is kicking off 8 o'clock on 8.30. Excuse me, ABC. Make sure you check it out. 8.30 ABC. NBA Finals is kicking off. Definitely looking forward to it, man. Like I said, if um, Tyler Hero is available to play um, at any point throughout this series when the Heat have a chance to be able to win a game, um, I think the Heat will ultimately win the finals. I, I, I'm kind of looking at, I think the finals are probably in game six, game seven. Um, but, you know, I think ultimately the Heat can pull it off, man. But the Jokic and the Denver Nuggets are, 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 are a good team as well. I think... Personally, they're more rested than the Heat, but the Heat have more, more momentum right now. You know, they're more in rhythm with their shots and game situations, all that type of stuff. You know, the Denver Nuggets haven't really played a game in almost 10, you know, 10, 11 days, probably longer than that. You know, almost going on two weeks now. And, um, you know, so it's going to be exciting, man. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm definitely going to be tuned in tonight. Again, 8.30 ABC, Eastern Standard Time. Make sure y'all check it out, man. NBA Finals kick off tonight. Um, but my prediction is Heat will win in, in six games. Uh, like I said, especially if they have Tyler Hero. Uh, but I just know I know that I know the Heat are hungry. I know the Denver Nuggets are hungry as well. Both are both teams are led by tremendous head coaches. Um, and Eric Spoelstra from Eric Spoelstra from the um, the Heat and the Denver Nuggets coach is um, what's the gentleman's name? Um, his name is, oh, hold on, not the, not the freaking, yeah, Mike, Michael Malone, I thought so, yeah, Mike Malone, okay, yeah, so Mike Malone is the Denver Nuggets head coach, um, you know, like I said, another great head coach, a gentleman who put their team in position to be able to make plays and go win. And uh, I'm just I'm truly looking forward to this NBA NBA um this NBA finals this year. You know, Heat Heat Nuggets. That's a different that's a different um you know teams that's different than what we're used to seeing. So and we still get to, we're still gonna get to see powerhouse players go go up against one another. Um, but it's just different franchises being represented currently at the moment. Um, and different different star players who have had an opportunity to get their first rings. So I'm I'm just excited. I'm happy for both parties um, to be able to participate and go put on a great, a great show and a great performance. And, 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 you know, somebody uh, will set history after, after it's all said and done. So I'm looking forward to it, man. Good luck to both teams. Good luck to both parties.
a lot of um, you know, our fan bases and all that type of stuff, and let's have a great finals. Alrighty, moving on to NBA head coaching hires. We got a few head coaches that's been hired around the NBA. We have Nick Nurse. Nick Nurse was the old Raptors head coach. He will now be coaching the 76ers. We have Adrian Griffin. Adrian Griffin was a former NBA player and a, a coaching assistant. He's now he will now be the head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. Shout out to Adrian Griffin. His son, AJ Griffin, plays for the Hawks. So shout out to the Griffin family for their great accomplishments. Then moving on to the Rockets, we have Ime Udoka. Ime Udoka will be the head coach, new head coach of the Rockets. Um, Ime, Ime Udoka was once the head coach of the Celtics. Um, then we have Monty Williams. Monty Williams, the former head coach of the Phoenix Suns, will now be, be the head coach of the Detroit Pistons. So shout out to Monty Williams. Shout out to all those coach coaches who got hired this week or the last couple of weeks to be able to be um, head coaches going forth in the NBA. So shout out to y'all. Congratulations. Moving on to the NBA draft countdown. The NBA draft will be kicked off in 21 days. 21 days, the NBA draft will be kicked off. Make sure y'all tune in. Again, June 22nd is when the NBA draft is. I will have an NBA draft episode going. Um, so make sure y'all tune in that day. Again, NBA draft is June 22nd. Make sure y'all tune in. A, a lot of great picks. They have the gentleman from France looking to go at the, as a projected number, uh, number one overall pick. But to my understanding, there have been some gentlemen in the um, the NBA combine who have, you know, turned some heads and opened some eyes. So I'm looking forward to the NBA draft. I'm looking forward to see what the Hawks will do. And I'm looking forward to see, you know, all these young men get their names called to start a new journey in their lives for the, you know, for the hard work they've been able to put in and get to those positions. All that good stuff. So shout out to them. Good luck, gentlemen. And we'll see y'all on the 22nd. Moving on to the MLB. MLB results from last night, May 31st. We had the Braves defeat the Athletics 4-2. We had the Detroit Tigers defeat the Rangers 3-2. We had the Angels over the White Sox 12-5. We had the Rays over the Cubs 4-3. We had the Guardians over the Orioles 12-8. We had the Pirates defeat the Giants 9-4. We had the Nationals defeat the Dodgers 10-6. We had the Marlins defeat the Padres 2-1. We had the Brewers defeat the Blue Jays 4-2. We had the Reds defeat the, the, the Red Sox 5-4. We had the Mets defeat the Phillies 4-1. We had the Twins defeat the Astros 8-2. We had the Diamondbacks defeat the Rockies 6-0. And we had the Mariners defeat the Yankees in extra innings. One to zero. Moving on to today's games, we have the Brewers, Blue Jays, Phillies, Mets, Padres, Marlins, Rockies, Diamondbacks, Reds, Red Sox, Guardians, Twins, and the Angels and the Astros. <sighs> Moving on to the Stanley Cup preview. Again, a Stanley Cup preview. Um, another fun fact as well with sports today: the Florida Panthers and the Miami Heat are looking to be the first champions in the same year from the same area. So um, the Miami Heat and the Florida Panthers are looking to make history, again, to be able to be the first metropolitan area teams to um, both be in a championship at the same time, but then win a championship at the same time as well. So good luck to both of those teams. Um, good luck to the Panthers. They will be representing the East in the Stanley Cups. And the Las Vegas Knights will be representing the West in the Stanley Cup. So, um, shout out to those gentlemen. Shout out to those teams. Um, all that good stuff. And, again, that will kick off Saturday. Saturday is the kickoff to the NHL Stanley Cup. So, make sure y'all tune in for that. Um, again, it will be Saturday, 8 p.m. on TNT. The Florida Panthers versus the Golden Knights. I will have coverage of that Saturday morning on the Sports Hotel. So, make sure y'all tune in. I have coverage of that and results from Game 1 of the NBA Finals. And Game 2 of the NBA Finals will kick off on Sunday, June 4th. is the second game. So um, I have coverage on the game for Game 1, Thursday night for the NBA Finals, which is tonight. Then I have coverage on Saturday for the Stanley Cup, 
game one and I go over coverage for a recap of game one from the NBA Finals and I'll be looking forward to game two Sunday, June 4th for game two. So make sure y'all tune in, man. I'm truly excited. Definitely love talking about sports. Um, and let's get it rock and rolling. Moving on to the WNBA. WNBA recap from this week. Tuesday games, we had the Atlanta Dream defeat the Chicago Sky, 83-65. We had a promising outing from our rookie. Um, she scored 13 points off the bench, a couple of rebounds, a couple of assists. Her name is Haley Jones, I believe. Oh, yeah, Haley Jones out of Stanford. Um, and, yeah, so shout out to her. She had a pretty pretty outstanding performance, 13 points, two assists, three rebounds off the bench to help the Atlanta Dream secure a 83-65 win over the Chicago Sky. Then we had the Sun defeat the Fever, 81-78. We had the Seattle Wings defeat the Minnesota Lynx, 94-89. And then we had the Liberty defeat the Storm, 86-78. Moving on to tonight's games, we have one game on Prime Video at 8 p.m. Make sure y'all tune in. We have the Suns going up, going up against the Link. We have the Connecticut Sun going up against the Minnesota Lynx at 8 p.m. on Prime Video, so make sure y'all check it out. Um, to tomorrow games, we have the Aces going up against the Atlanta Dream. We have the Liberty going up against the Sky. This is, these are for Friday games now, June 2nd. And then we have the Wings going up against the Mystics. And then we have the Sparks going up against the Mercury. So make sure you check out the WNBA if you're following your specific teams. All that good stuff, make sure you're tuning in and you're following but um, other than that, great for Gav family. That's all I have for you all this week on the Sports Hotel. Again, make sure y'all check out the NBA Finals game one tonight, 8 p.m. on ABC. I mean, 8.30, 8 p.m. on AP, on um, ABC. Then make sure y'all check out tomorrow. Fun Fact Fridays will be dedicated to the country of Portugal. Shout out to the country of Portugal for your love and support. So make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for Fun Fact Friday. And then catch me back again Saturday for updated Sports Hotel. Until next time, y'all. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. Um, have a great today. Again, again, give God glory for today. And let's make the best of it. Until next time, peace.